bed leveling. A problem commonly found in most 3D printers that have an automatic bed leveling system. With the auto bed leveling feature, the bed compensates and tilts to allow the printer to always be aligned. Sadly, if your electrical system isn't hooked up properly, this method will not work. So I'm going to show you some of the common issues found in auto bed leveling. So there are two ways to control logic on an electrical system. There is a commonly open and a commonly closed circuit. Those are mainly the only two for a digital system. A commonly open circuit keeps these two connections from touching each other. When the switch is pressed, these two connections close, and that provides the logic to the circuit board. A commonly closed uses a constant connection until the switch is pressed, and when the switch is pressed, it disengages like this. So the limit switches on the 3D printer use a commonly closed system. So current is constantly flowing through these, and if one of the wires from the limit switch is unplugged, then current's not flowing through that, and then you'll see the motors spin wildly out of control, and that's one of the major issues. So you always want those wires attached initially. That's one of the biggest problems. I'll show you what that looks like right now. So you can see that the Z-axis will spin uncontrollably without the wires being attached. And so if I take the two Z-axis ones and attach them together, you'll see that it references the fact that these touched and they stop to zero. So after you know your electrical system is working properly, the next thing you want to check is the physical switches themselves. Uh, if they're close like this, that's fine. But if the rod is so far off, the switch down here isn't going to be pressed. That switch is not pressed at all. The switch is against the carriage. So I'm just going to run a G28, and you'll see the x-axis zero, the y-axis zero, then you see the z-axis fail. If I do the G28 again, but this time holding this button down, see how it goes down? And as soon as I release my finger, it thinks it's at the bottom of the circuit. So you need to make sure that both of these switches are physically being pressed. And a lot of people probably see this as well. So this is the auto bed leveling sequence without being able to go down. This is the only because the right switch, and if you look at this straight on, you can immediately tell that this is way off kilter. And so in this situation, all you really have to do, you're gonna to wanna to spin it till it's level. Now it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that, but now both of the switches are physically being pressed. If they're not resting on the carriage, the switches aren't being pressed, and if the switches aren't pressed, it can't level itself properly. So when I run the G28 again, now it'll go all the way down to the bottom, and when it hits the bottom, it'll actually be zeroed. Now, when you do the G29, instead of rising up constantly, it's resting on both of them so it knows exactly where the Z-axis is. And then also, if you look on my computer, you have all these numbers that are spit out when you run a G29. So you see how this number is negative, this number is closer to zero, and this number is positive. So that means that the left rod is further down than the right rod. And the easy way that I figured this out is that the left number is negative, the middle is zero, and the right side is positive. So you spin this left one counterclockwise, and you spin the right one clockwise. And when you do this, you can run the G29 command again. And then you'll see on the computer that it starts spitting out the numbers again. And so these are in millimeters. So now my bed is no longer completely unleveled. So just a quick recap. The first thing you want to check are the wires under the limit switches. If those aren't attached, that's gonna be the source of your problem. The second thing you wanna check is the physical alignment and making sure that the carriage is actually sitting on the switches. If it's not, you're gonna have bed leveling issues. 
And the third thing is get the bed as level as possible so the computer doesn't have to do so much adjusting to get the print aligned. And you can do that running the G29, looking at the feedback, and then adjusting the screws accordingly. And remember, if it's negative zero positive, you spin the left side counterclockwise and the right side clockwise. If it's positive zero negative, that means you spin the right side clockwise and you spin the left side counterclockwise. It's a simple, easy way to remember how to level the bed based off of the feedback from the G-code, and it works every single time. And you don't have to get it exactly to zero, you just need to get it close so the bed doesn't have to compensate so much. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see any more videos like this one right here. And leave a comment below for any suggestions on future videos or any questions about this video. Thanks for watching.